Hey, welcome back to Your Care Bidet Science Channel. Israel, today is, uh, what, what is today is, uh, today is, uh, well, it's Friday, uh, July the 11th, or uh, September the 11th, September the 10th. Okay, so let's take a look up here, Sweden, U.S., Sweden has 25 youth votes. And six. Interesting. Uh, 31. And one. It is interesting that uh, there are other countries more interested in for instance, Israel has yesterday at thirty and that's twenty four hours at thirty nine views by people under eighteen. And we can add these two. So uh, nine and eight is seven. Carry the one is 67 then, right? Okay. What's interesting is in Sweden and in Israel, more people under the age of 18 viewed the video than those over 18. So, so anyway, Israel, you have 20, you had 76 views today, 29 from people, uh, 39 from people under 18, and 28 from people over 18. Interesting, huh? Um, let's just go over and take a look at at this one post this guy put up over here. Okay, so what you can see here, he says, Florida normalization, Israel is going to credit the booster for any dropping cases. But the truth is the fourth Delta wave has, has peaked in most areas and most certainly, well, I'm not sure if Israel is going to claim the booster shot or not. Uh, Okay, I'm not I'm not sure if that's that's okay or not, but uh, so anyway, the important thing is, are the numbers actually decreasing? Uh, I think we need to keep in mind a couple of things about the COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, first of all, they're not designed to keep you from getting COVID-19. They're designed to do basic two basic things: one, reduce the severity of the disease if you do get it. And two, reduce the chances that you'll die from COVID-19. Now, notice that that's not a guarantee that you won't get it. It's not a guarantee that you won't die. Simply, simply it's re by reducing the severity of the disease, we should also reduce the deaths. But be because the vaccine purpose isn't to keep you from getting it, that means COVID-19 cases in Israel and other countries around the world can continue to increase. And deaths can continue to increase, although hopefully at a slower rate due to vaccination. But anyway, let's go and take a look at Israel's numbers for today. Of course, as all, like I said, a big shout out to all the people in Israel who watch this every day. Thank you so much. And a special shout out to the people under 18. Hey, be sure to share these videos with your friends and family today. Share them on Facebook, on Twitter. I copy paste the link into an email or text message. I know that you know people who are interested in, in, in just the basic information. Because my, my purpose is to help you understand the numbers not without, without any political agenda, okay? So you can see that the currently uh, Israel has 1.14 million cases, 73,013 deaths. 70, okay, good. I want to make sure that's actually on the right thing there, okay? So let's take a look here at the first numbers. Here's the, here's the spike we're seeing here in cases. The volatility basically doesn't really mean that much. In actual fact, a weekly number is probably a better number to look at. But you can see here that... Uh, well, on August, on September the 8th, you reported 22,291 cases. That number dropped back down to 6,045 on the 9th, with, with a seven-day average of uh, 11,368 per day for cases. 
again, we're seeing a spike in, in, in deaths also. But again, we got this crazy volatility here. I'm just not, you know, because you can see at one point it spiked on, on uh, September the 8th, it spiked to 56 deaths per day. But the day before on September 3rd, that number was seven deaths per day. So the, so the better number is probably the average. So the average number of deaths as of July the 4th was 38.5 deaths per day. Okay, that's probably a much better number. Let's take a look at some uh, weekly numbers now. Well, as you can see here, um, as you can see here, uh, we can see this, what this four, five, six week decline increase in, in deaths or in cases. And right now the deaths have passed these previous two spikes, these previous two waves or spikes, what do you want to call them? Uh, again, the COVID-19 vaccine may have absolutely no effect on these numbers here because it doesn't keep you from getting COVID-19, okay? Uh, someone should ask your, your government officials about that. Is, is, is the vaccine preventing people from getting COVID-19? The answer should be no. Okay, at least not as far as the U.S. vaccine is concerned. Hopefully this week it's going to be a beginning, a new declining pattern in cases. Deaths, you can see again we have deaths here. How many, how many people died during this current little mini wave were vaccinated? Okay, again, monthly cases. Okay. And monthly deaths. So anyway, as that does conclude your report for today. If you find this report helpful, by all means, don't forget to uh, to click on that subscribe button, click on the like button, uh, and most important of all, click on the share button. Share this video with your friends and family you know that are interested in the plain, simple uh, data as far as COVID-19 in Israel. Thanks so much for your time. We'll catch you later on with a different report tomorrow. We'll catch you Sunday with a different with a new with a new and improved report, which includes COVID-19 vaccine data.